All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Attack on Toys. Oh my gosh, have there been some significant updates to this game since we last played it? Oh my god, it's almost been a month ago. By the way, I want to big, I want to give a big uh, happy birthday shout out to uh, Baron. It's my birthday today, August eighth. What a great day! Eight eight, crazy eights, baby. So anyway, back to Attack on Toys. Um, by the way, we're going to have you having a birthday stream. Come over to Facebook.com slash Baron Von Games. We're going to be playing some fun stuff. Anyway, Attack on Toys. What has been changed? What has been added to it? I'll tell you, me boys. Look at this right here. This is an Apache. This is a main battle tank. This is the technical, which we've seen before. And now we've got a bunch of infantry and a bunch of targets. Look at this. We've got these new half tracks. The green training camp was added as well as the Apache to the main mode. So let's actually go ahead and press Tan Army Invasion! Welcome to the battlefield, my boys, where plastic meets plastic on a checkered floor in somebody's unfortunate home. Can you imagine opening the door and seeing a bunch of toys shooting at each other? Would you be like, all right, well, I'm clearly had a bit too much of the sauce. Another cool thing is that we can now sprint and jump. Woo -hoo -hoo. So. Rambo! Get you some- Pow! 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 That's kind of funny, I'm still aiming backwards. Okay, oh my god, the map has been updated. Has it? Or we've just never been over here. Build mode! Alright, we press R? I'm trying to press R. Oh! Hello! Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna put one of these guys here. Can't build here? Okay. Whoa! I don't know what just happened. I think it's because- I swear, I swear, it wasn't me. I can also get bazooka men. Check this out. All right, put the bazooka men there. Oh my god, we're we're a little bit slow right here as I'm getting used to all the new things. But like, good lord, they've they've done a ton of stuff. The UI's been changed. So, oh my god, so much has been done. Look at this. These do these look different to you, or is it just me? We can also put a mine sweeper. Oh, a plastic sweeper. These guys are gonna go out and get all the money, money. All right, we got 16 seconds, and I don't know how that money's going up. Wing, wing, nudge, nudge, golf, golf. All right, we still have the same thing up here. Let's see if I can't... Oh, gosh. Let's put some defenses up. They changed a lot about landmines, remember? Oh, I actually put these guys on follow, and that's not at all what I wanted. Oh, oh! Okay, let's get some bazookas. We need some bazooka troops. Let's see how they're gonna do. Oh, they fire in unison! All right, boys! Bazookas! To the front! Oh, never mind, they're retreating. But we did do it. All right, now we got our parachute. Let's check out what's happening. So this is the other new thing. They've added half-tracks. Oh my god, they just dumped off a lot of troops. And look at this. It's an ambush! Oh my god, never mind. They're ambushing me! All right, we clearly need to get back into build mode. And get some RPG soldiers. Actually, we take that. We took that out. How do I repair? I've got to get out of build mode and get a heal. I wish you could have a healing unit. But a lot of the things that we said would be nice features to add to this game, the developer has done. All right, ambush him with bazookas, boys. Oh, look at that. You can repel firepower this magnitude. And now we can actually deal with tanks, so we should get a lot further in this than we have in the past. So I'm uh, very excited about that. I wish we could have a jetpack. Wouldn't that be cool? Hey, you know what? I mean, if, if it's on the menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these little light machine gun things. All right. I want to get... Oh, I've already got three of them. So I can't do that. I do want the light MGs. Let's gather some of this money. Oh, my God. That guy's firing some big rounds at me. And look, we, we've got a little stamina bar in the lower middle part of the screen. All right, gentlemen. Just keep out here keeping... Oh, hello. There we go. Deal with those bazookas. Oh, my God. Bazookas are a hard counter to static defenses, clearly. All right, I'm trying to switch over. I notice that every now and then, some, some of the things are a little bit sticky. Wave's been completed, you get the little bonus. Oh my god, but this is- I've never really been up here before. But I want to defend it a little bit better. There's the bomber plane. Probably when the waves get a little tricky, we can fly over there. Because we're going to be showing off the new Apache. Let's go ahead and just like, get everything going over here and actually... 
We're gonna get a few squads of infantry. I'm gonna get some bazooka men. On both sides. And then I wanna get... I wanna get these little LMGs here. LMG standing for light machine guns, I tell you what. In war games, you see a lot of acronyms. Acronyms being like, you know, a couple letters in a row that all signal each letter standing for a word. For those of you who are not aware, but I'm sure many of you were. Oh, don't mind me. Yeah, there we go. This is going to be an absolute beast area. And there you go. How are we doing? Oh my god, we're just kicking their butts as they're in there. Look at them! Look at them building up in there! Can I get in there and get all the resources? <gasps> uh oh, this may be a bad idea as we can't get the resources out of it. But how's the rest of this doing? Alright, I can throw grenades. Tally ho, boys! Does that hurt me? Boom! It does not appear- wait, did it? Did it lower my health? Because that was a bad idea. Fire the rockets from long range! Alright, we need to get back out here and get... Oh, oh. Oh, I died. Alright, well, you know, that stinks. We'll call in the paratroopers. Oh my god, look at that. That is glorious. We got a ton of paratroopers coming in. Um, so that should delay the enemy forces. Oh my gosh. These half tracks are really, really cool. Look at them exploding. The tanks coming out here. You just gotta build up your defenses, you know what I mean? Look at this, is this bugged? That's kind of bugged, because I can build them there, but not here. I wonder what that's all about. Alright, how are the defenses up here doing? Let's check them out right quick. Ooh, they seem to be doing okay, but the AI's having a hard time firing through the glass and not hitting anything. I wish I could put my defenses up here. Wave's been complete. Okay, so before the next wave, I think it's time to build the Apache, so basically we have to go over to the weapons tab. I can buy a tank as well, but obviously this one's all about the chopper. So I'm thinking what we want to do... Build a chopper for 9,000. Jeez! Say no more. Okay. Now we're gonna get in this thing, and... Oh, space to take off. That's easy. Okay, so it looks like we've got a ton of weapons. Oh, space bars just hover. And C is land. Is it an auto land? It is an auto land. All right, so we're gonna get up here. Dude, remember how in the last episode, when whenever I wanted to use the uh, bomber plane, I would basically have to sacrifice a plane or spend a lot of time. Oh yeah, let's buy this. It's only 3,500. All right, big daddy, take off. The next wave has already started. Man, I thought we had more time, but time flies when you're building up a green armor, man. Now, now, do I just have machine guns? Okay, let's see how. Oh my god. Oh, we're firing rockets too? Whoa! Enemy helicopter! Aerial reconnaissance is coming in! We just took him out. Dude, this thing is dirty, man. Okay. We gotta defend up here. Let's take out the big guy with the grenade launcher. Oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely destructive. This thing, oh, what a great addition. We took him out before he fired his grenades. So hopefully our soldiers We'll be able to do... Oh, that tank just took out two squads of bazooka men. We've got no defenses on this ridge anymore. It is just me. In my Apache. I wanted to say, like, Machate, but you know what? It's, it's an Apache. It's an Apache gunship. We got... Oh, we got enemy half-track and infantry coming in. Our static defenses on the ground are down. So it is up... If it is to be, it is up to me up here in the air. You can even see how the auto cannons are firing from the little red things on the side, and then every now and then some missiles fire. Whoa. Oh, that's the bomber. I was like, we're, we're getting attacked from the air, but that is us. Oh, hold on. There we go. The bomber is doing its AC-130 gunship thing, as well as dropping paratroopers. Now we can actually get a really, really good view of the bomber for, the, like, the first time. Wave complete. Okay, so I think... Ooh, look at that. We actually maneuvered around them. I think it's time to see about our infantry. Oh, that's why. All right. Uh, okay, so what the issue was, we didn't have anyone out collecting resources. Look at this. We got a we got a iron curtain of a wall over here, but we don't have much going on over here. 
And that's where the enemy snuck in. Excuse me, gentlemen. Why are you all just standing around? There's resources to be had out there, boys. All right, so we're just putting tons of defenses. Let's go get... I want to get some... Bazooka men. Because these bazooka men seem good, but I still think a, a part of your complete balanced breakfast is kind of like the way you want to go. You want to have a balanced force. We're going to get back in this Apache. But, dude, look at that. And we got the gunner here. What's up, Bert? Bert's my gunner. He's a good guy. We went to uh, the Air Force Academy together. All right. Unleash absolute aerial destruction on them. Are they shooting at me? I can't tell. I'm trying to take out the infantry as well. So this is really good, but it's not like just like an uber weapon per se in that like it'll just evaporate the enemy vehicles. At this point, we're kind of getting to a place where it kind of reminds me more and more of Home Wars. Remember Home Wars where we fought the bugs? I wonder if the developer could do something like that as well. Or maybe he's just like, it is fun to see that this game is continuing to get developed. Like you just see so many indie projects that are like abandoned. And some of them have so much potential and have so much to show for it. And they just are really cool concepts, but then the developers kind of don't do anything with them. And it's always a sad to it's always sad to see that. All right, we got an enemy chopper here. Oh, there's like a green silhouette. Is that because the HQ is under attack? So it's kind of a bit of an alarm system. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to land here. Oh, you can't break the landing sequence. So there's rudimentary controls for these things. Oh, here we go. But I am flying low and slow here. So, we'll get a better view. Look at all those bazooka troops coming in. Actually, oh, I wanted to see them just do their thing. Like, look at all this. Gentlemen, fire! Oh, gosh. Absolute destruction. All right, so we're going to land here and uh, rebuild some more. I think we might need to check out... Yeah, look at that. We need to spread out our guys. All right, so there's more infantry coming over there. Let's see if I can't build... I still can't build there. So, I got to... I got to... Make up for that with the turrets I've got. We gotta get all these resources. Wave complete, we just got a nice boost in resources. Look at all of these bazooka soldiers. This guy's- Stop, drop, and roll, Billy! You're on fire! Maybe- maybe they had to dance off his dance moves were on fire. One can only hope that the morale of my infantry, my soldiers out here, is high. Look at this. There's just a massive wave of people following me. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. Alright, so this is a nice front line. And we are out of resources once again. So it is going to be up to me up here in this Apache. I think we want to get the bomber going again. Alright, boys. It'd be cool if you could get a Huey. A Huey would be cool, right? For like a cheaper than the Apache, right? So you could get the, and then maybe over here, make it an airfield, so there's like different planes. You have the B-24, maybe a couple like, maybe the Hueys over here. Maybe you get like, you know, more planes would be cool. Yeah, I would turn this into an airfield. I don't know, it'd be really cool. Just to see like the variations in aircraft you could use that would be AI support, or alternatively, aircraft like this that I would take direct control over. Look at all these infantry. Man, the HE explosive rounds. Oh, what? Oh, I was like, what is shooting me? I thought my bomber was shooting at me. What's my health on this thing? I think I'm at- Oh, shoot, I'm- I'm about to get taken out. Wow, this thing was very, very low. I wonder, would I die? Or... Oh, look at the- I love how that thing drops the paratroopers, too. It's not a true B-24. It's definitely been customized, but I love that about it. Like, B-24 would just be a heavy bomber. It wouldn't have those little gun platforms on the side. So, I like how the developer used, you know, a little creative freedom there. These bazooka guys have a decent amount of health. Or maybe I'm just not hitting them very accurately. Look at my army, though. Look at that. That is an army and a half, boys. Alright, so let's check out... Ooh, we're not doing too well over here. Yeah, we're, the HQ is under attack. So we're gonna soften these soldiers up. Oh my god, there's multiple tanks. Alright, I'm gonna go in for a landing. And I need to build... Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough turrets. There you go, there's some distractions. There we go. I like these LMGs, or I guess they'd be more like heavy machine guns, wouldn't they? Yeah, so some of these are bugged, I think. I'm assuming they're bugged. I could be wrong, and it could be something happened, or whatever. It's a new feature, right? Because we add, they added the tank and the helicopter that you can get, um, and drive yourself. We haven't even tried the tank yet. The enemy half truck is what they call it. We can jump. We can sprint. There's the updated UI building mode we've seen, and the new training mission in focus aim with any vehicle. 
Ooh, have we tried that? Oh my gosh, okay. So we can do focusing. Oh, hold on. We gotta land and send out our resource gets. Our resource guys. Get them resources, boys! We need more money, money! We need to produce more plastic than the enemy if we are to be victorious in this here battle of attrition. Yeah, when they're getting out resources, man, it's it's a lot better for me. Yeah, look. All right, now I want to go back to some infantry and support it with that instead of the machine gun installations. Because I've noticed that the infantry kind of have a mind of their own and will attack the weaker spots, whereas the static defenses just are static. They stay still. What'd you guys think of the Men of War mod for this game? Or rather, the Army Men Men of War that I was showing off on the channel maybe about a few weeks ago, a few weeks to a month. And it's like, why why use yourself? Why use the infantry gun that needs to be reloaded when I can fly the Apache, right? Where's my Apache? Here it is. Stationed nice and simply here. So I like that. I'm curious about the training exercise, but I think it's probably relatively straightforward. All right, let's try. Okay, the zoom in mode doesn't allow me to aim it's more of like the ground attack but let's see if it does anything different oh no it's just oh we are taking damage oh so that's what happens when your helicopter goes down and i'm dead the apaches came in and wrecked us oh man this is this is a very very big wave oh man look at that apache just that thing just wrecks those things destroy static emplacements. Goodbye! And the Apache is super, super expensive. So the truck is 1500 Hey, stop shooting me. What is that? Take that thing out! That thing just... Oh my gosh. Those choppers. Well, there's like no defenses here. I think it's time... Oh my gosh. As much as I need to be here, I also need to get that bomber out here to drop paratroopers everywhere. But I think, I think we have to be here. Oh my god, yeah, the enemy's closing in around us. This is a very challenging wave defense game. It's pretty fun. It'll be fun to see how it's updated in the future, what they'll add. So, we asked for a number of things, right? I'm, one, I'm still wondering about an airfield over there where the bomber plane is, but we asked for a number of things, like just basic functionality, like being able to sprint and jump as the player. We've since gotten that. Oh my gosh, man, those guys, those... The bazooka men are pretty beefy. I'd love to see the airfield, and I'm wondering, like, what would you guys like to see added to this game? Is that tank firing its main cannon at me? Oh my god, it is. And that thing is hurting a lot. Oh, that's the boss tank, isn't it? Oh, it's not the boss tank. It's the single-barreled one. There's a boss tank with twin barrels, but, I mean, we just got nothing to collect. I wonder, is it that the AI isn't the best at collecting stuff? I think I'm taking shots from the big tank. Look at that! Look at the little, uh, aim assist where the, the shells will literally curve themselves at you. That'd be nice to have a little bit, you know, changed, altered. Hey. Get out of here. We just have, like, no defenses at all. We have literally no defenses. So, yeah. What would you like to add? Let me know in the comments, like, would you kind of share my same sentiment where you'd like this to be, like, an airfield? That you could have multiple planes or different aerial assists, maybe some not as expensive. Like, you could have the little biplane would be cool. That would be AI controlled, the one that's in the hangar right, or on the airfield right there. Oh, hold on. We still have a tan guy over here. And by a tan guy, it's a, clear there's a few guys. Maybe some upgrades for the vehicles themselves? I don't know. I'm trying to think, because, like, they're definitely going more tower defense mode than they are, like, say, first person shooter or even third person shooter or battle simulator mode, this is most definitely, at least right now, a wave defense mode. Alright, let's check out green training camp now. Loading green training camp. I'm expecting it to be real- Ooh. This looks cool, though. So there's a firing range, it looks like there's an airfield. Alright, soldier, I mean, this is just classic, the old army men games, I love it. Welcome to boot camp, Baron, and happy birthday. Alright, thank- good to be here. We have various types of weapons. Press 1, 2, 3 to select your weapon. Press and hold left click to shoot. Alright. Yep, I get it. Very relatively straightforward. Grenade is very effective against large groups of enemies. Aim at the enemy groups and press G. Pew! <laughs> oh! That is a huge grenade! 
Oh, let's see if let's see if it uh oh we can actually get in the training area. <laughs> Those grenades are massive. Okay, what's this all about? This is an obstacle course. All right, classic. Woo! Oh shoot! How do I get up there? Oh okay, <laughs> easy enough. All right, Baron, this is the vehicle depot. This is your headquarters. You must defense it at all costs. If the HQ took some damage, it will send a signal to your radio. I just sent a signal to your radio for an example. Press M. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Okay. So air support is troops. I thought they, I thought there was something else, man. Press E to enter a vehicle. Move forward, accelerate, and move left and right to tilt the plane. Yep, we're familiar with that. And there's another plane just in case you wreck it. Any vehicle has the ability to shoot automatically and manually. You can press right click. Oh, this is this is so good. For new players, that's key. Now what's over here? You have finished boot camp. Try to explore. You might find something. What? Oh shoot. There's a secret. Alright, guys, we're looking for the Easter egg now, the top secret stuff. Alright, we've commandeered a light reconnaissance vehicle. There's some weird driftiness going on. Driving this is tricky. All right, what's going on over here, boys? We found the hole in the wall. What is this? Is this, what? Guys, what are you guarding? What, what are they guarding? <gasps> There's a ramp. All right, they're clearly guarding something. I'm not sure what it's all about. I gotta say that I like when developers do cute little things like this. I don't know what they're defending. Do you guys, oh shoot, look at that. There's something up there. We need to get a plane. Oh. Try to use the Jeep and gas slowly and start to climb the stairs faster. Okay. Let's see if I can back up or if I stuck myself. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't say this is the easiest thing to drive. I bet you there's something behind there too. Maybe there's more secrets. We might need to explore that in a future episode. How about not going slow at first? How about... Ramping this thing as fast as we can. Oh, there's a ladder. Woo! All right, gentlemen. What are you securing over here? Someone tell me what you men are up to. Go into the door to exit the training camp. No way. There's something over here. All right. Oh, look at that. All right, we're parachuting down to this guy. Just guarding this washing machine post. Yes, you are. It'd be cool if you could press the buttons. All right, a little bit of hardcore parkour. We're gonna get on this ladder. Oh, oh shoot, I messed up. We gotta go back. We gotta stay on the right ridge here. And there's this ladder. This is a stairway to heaven, as it were, except it's more of a ladder. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I gotta jump for it. Oh, well that worked. I thought we missed it, but the climbing animation is funny. Remember how Ravenfield had a ladder? Oh. That one was missing some rungs. Oh! Go to tank post and helicopter post. What? What do you mean tank and helicopter post? Oh! Here's the tanks, but how do you get the helicopters? I think you need to use the plane. So this is the headquarters, but there was some stuff below us. Why would we have the tanks up here? It's funny how when you first get a parachute, it seems like you go up. Alright! Tank has a lot of health, an explosive tank shell that very effective against other tanks. But there was some other stuff. I want to use some reconnaissance here. There's my headquarters. There's someone shooting at something over there. I don't know what, what is going on over here. To-do list. New game mode, improved graphics, to-do list co-op. Oh shoot. And there was something else. All right, so he clearly has custom battles. Oh man. So we have a little bit of a roadmap. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Attack on Toys, where I'm your host, Birthday Boy, Baron Von Birthday. I'm glad to see this game being updated and the little roadmap because I think there's a lot of cool stuff to come. So anyway, stay tuned for the future. Let me know what other games you'd like to check out, and I will see you guys in the future. Have a good one. Bye-bye.